Hello, this is an update video to the update video because there was a few things I uh, weren't too happy with so I thought I'd go over it all again and redo the video. Right, in this video you'll find a link in the description to all the software I'm using. You may also need lav filters but you only may need them if you have problems playing back uh, mp4 or mkv files. But I'll put a link to their forum and a direct link to download them. Right, so you've downloaded the files. I've got them in downloads, which is that one there. Right, so right click, unzip, which won't take a few seconds. Right, so the first thing you want to do, if I click on, right, go into files, the one at the top, you'll find this, AVSynth. You want to install this first. So if I click on that and install it, it won't take a few seconds. I agree next install won't take too long so that's done finish go back right next one is uh me gui uh 2624 x86 so i'll right click on that and unzip it i use uh, 7 zip because it's free and i'm going to extract to me gui won't take long to do right the thing i'll do I right click it on rename it, you can uh, rename it to me GUI. So I just delete that out. So it's me GUI now. So you want to right click, you can either cut or copy. I'm going to copy it. Go into C. You want to go, make sure you go into programs x86. I'm running a uh, Windows 10, so it should be the same on all the others. So if I go into there, right click and paste. Just click continue. Right, uh, go into there. Thing you want to do, you want to right click on the me GUI and either place a, a shortcut on your desktop or I'm going to pin to start. There. Thing I want to do as well, I've got to add a few files. So if I go back into downloads, go back into the uh, files, and then into tools, the one at the top. Uh, AVSynth plugin. You'll find these uh, four files. You want to copy them all, just highlight, right click, either cut or copy, it's up to you. I'm going to copy them, and then go back. I'll go, right, go back into C, program files, x86, where you uh, placed me GUI. That folder there. Go back into there. Go into tools up near the top, this one here, tools. Then the AVSynth plugin, go into there and paste the four files into there. So I just paste them in. Just click, uh, if this pops up, uh, tick this, do this for, uh, for all current items and continue. There you've got the uh, four files added. Then we go back into my downloads, just check everything. The thing you'll also find in this download folder is these two. We're going to be using them later to re-add the, the audio from the original file because when you convert 30 frames a second video to 60 frames a second video, you have to re-add the audio back in from the original file. So it's up to you which one you want to install, either the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version. As I'm running uh, Windows 10 64-bit, I'm going to install that one there. Won't take a few seconds to do. Click Next. Next. Install, it won't take a few seconds to do. Once it gets going, there it goes. It's up to you if you want a shortcut on your desktop. For me, I like to keep my uh, desktop clean, so I go no. Click next and finish. Right, so that's everything installed. Right, thing I would do, you'll see here a text file, a text document. Click that, because we're going to be using that in a minute to set up me GUI. Right, I'm close that down. Right, where's me GUI? There it is, it just popped up down there. So if I click me GUI, and this, uh, I'll show you how to set up. Right, let's just center it. Right, first things first, up on the top, you've got tools. So you wanna click that, and then go, oh, where'd that go? Right, go tools, AVS script creator, that one there. So click on that, and you'll see this line here where it says scratch pad. 
click uh, config on the right and we get this window pop up right you want to click down the bottom here on the bottom row you want to click new and you can name this anything you want but I'm going to call it 60 FPS 60 FPS so that's done you can call it anything you want just click OK right reopen the uh, text document highlight all this right click on it and copy you can close that down now you can either just highlight over the top and paste over the top or delete and just paste over the top you just want to place it in there then click update and OK there are extra setup the extra setup tab but I found you don't really need to use any of these or change any of them so I've just left them as they are I don't seem to have any problems for not well not changing anything so I've left them as they are just click update and OK so that's done I'll just shut that down thing I always do I tweak the x64 settings so on the right hand here you'll see uh, config I do this to just get a bit of extra quality in my videos right where it says quality you can drop this down it does give you a description that pops up telling you about the settings I normally drop it down to about 18 and plus I move the slider over to slower you can go where are they next one Ooh, where it jumps about you can go right over to the right to placebo but it will take forever to encode well the next one is very slow but I always stick to slower I set quality to 18 and preset to slower don't change anything else and just click update and OK now that's everything done in a for, well for me GUI or me GUI so the thing I'll do now I'll go over how I run it for the first time because you haven't got to do any of that again it's all set up ready to go so if I close that down and let's do a first run so it's right so I click me GUI go tools AVS script creator which we did earlier so all you want to do now is video input on the top there so if I click over on the right and find a video I want to encode so I go into my videos I've got an old uh, GTA 5 video which I'm gonna convert from 30 frames a second to 60 so if I click that thing you want to do on the right hand side you want to uh, click direct show source and it should give you a preview window like that so I can close that you want to click save down the bottom right hand side it says save so you want to click that click save and you'll get another preview window come up I will close that one everything else is set up V can do if you want to you've got video output you can change that to any folder you want let's go there you can rename it I'll place it in my videos yeah I'm yeah, GTA 5 MKV and that's fine so I just click Save and then all you do you click Q all it's doing now is just uh, downloading an update to x64 and plus uh, right by the very end where it's been converting it will download an MKV file update which only takes a few seconds to do so now it started uh, converting the uh, video to 60 FPS which can take a little while I will be back when it's finished so goodbye for a little while right back again and that's all done I must admit I could have used a shorter clip but so that's the only uh, file I had so I used that one right that's all done now so we can close uh, me GUI or me GUI I'll close that down 
and now go back into my videos. Uh, this one here is the original, which is uh, 29 frames a second, which is uh, just under 30, but Windows classes it as a 29 frames a second video. And this is one that's been converted. If I go into properties, it's uh, 59 frames a second. The thing I'll do, I'll just play a little bit of it, just to check. As you can see, there's no audio, but I'll show you in a second how you add the audio from the original file into the converted file. It's just me uh, flying around in the uh, Hydra around San Andreas, and it's now a nice, lovely and smooth 60 frames a second. Because if you play on the PS4 or the Xbox One, uh, GTA 5 only runs at 30 frames a second. Right, I'll just close that down. Oh, I'll just minimise it out. And now I'll show you how to uh, re-add the audio. Right, earlier on, uh, you uh, installed MKV Tool Nix. So if you uh, start that up, and the thing you want to do is take the original video, the 30 frames a second one, and you'll notice the top one here is the video, so you don't want that. Uh, my uh, capture device captures four separate audio channels I only want the first one so I'm going to untick them I just want that one and the thing you do now is drag in the 60 frames a second video this little box will pop up all you want to do is click OK so now you've got the audio from the original video and the video from the converted so all you want to do down here on the bottom row You've got to start mixing, so all you want to do is click start, and it'll give you, only takes a few seconds to do, and that's done, you can close that, so now we should have a uh, video with the audio as well, I'll just maximise it, just flying around the airport with San Andreas. I hope this video has helped and uh, goodbye.